Hello everyone, Sons of the Tomb, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Swaggerween, or Happy Halloween mod I guess. A mod that simply adds in a bunch of different blocks, mobs, and certain foods and things, or candy, uh, to sort of obviously go for the Halloween type of theming. So yeah, there is quite a lot to check out, so I've even got a full inventory's worth, and a bunch of different blocks here. Uh, I'll try and cover the recipes, how much you get for the candy, and what sort of things the mobs can do, and some of the awards here as well, just I guess for decoration. Um, so I guess we'll go from right to left, which is uh, well, from here at least. So you've got the gingerbread, which we just go to here. You can simply make gingerbread with sugar and bread, and then from there you can make it into a block obviously. Uh, you're making a block, obviously, and then you've got the stairs, fences, bricks. Um, there's a decorated one I think I missed placing down, um, which I didn't realize until now. So, there we go. So, that's what those look like. Pretty sure I got everything now. Why did I get that as well? Even? Yeah, there was a lot I am missing today. Okay. Uh, oops, I need the other though. There we go. Uh, next we've got the... Oops, we need that. Which is the hanging string, which is simply just two string. And then like so, you can have it just float or to uh, just be like that. So you can use that obviously similar to chains for certain things. Uh, over here we have the incognito pumpkin. Simply just a melon, ink sack, and black dye, like so. Which looks pretty cool. We have the. I'll just remove that for now. We've got the carved small pumpkin, simply a button and a carved pumpkin, like so. We've got the paper ghost, which is just paper, and you get two of them, and they float. Uh, it can be pretty much placed where it's almost in blocks, I think, so we'll just demonstrate, for example. When you place it down it'll be like that, so you might want to just do this if you want it to float a bit, or remove blocks or something like that, so keep that in mind when placing many of the different ghosts um, sort of placed around here, or oh, the sort of two block high ones, pretty much. We've got the Mimic Pumpkin, which is just bone meal and a pumpkin, like so, so sort of the mim like Mimic chests and such. I don't know if you're supposed to go through the ghosts, but you can, so do that. Uh, we've got the automaton pumpkin, I think that's it. Uh, white wool, pumpkin, black dye, and a note block to make them. I don't think they make any sounds or interactable, they just sort of look cool. Uh, getting to other blocks, we've got the spooky stone, which is simply just cobble and any of the three dyes. And then from there you can make obviously bricks. And then from there you can make slabs, walls, and stairs, like so. so the spooky stone, and then the bricks for those there. Uh, we've got the flushed pumpkin, which is just multitude dies and pumpkin. That has been carved. Let's see, you can be extra on the eyes there. I assume any of these you can still put on your head though, so it's not a problem. Uh, no, you can't. Okay, so some of them you can't. It seems probably. Oh, you can't fair any of them, maybe. Uh, Frankenstein pumpkin, just two iron die and pumpkin. Like so. Give them the bolts on the side. We have an eyeball pumpkin, which is just a multitude of dies and pumpkin as well. Like so. And uh, that's just not being picked up for reasons that the game just wants to be kind of strange. We've got the wall skeleton, which is just bones and iron nuggets, so you can hang them up if you want. As a decoration, I guess. You've got little jack, which is just a jack island in the button, instead of just, say, an existing smaller one uh, over there, and then a torch. You've got the creeper lantern, which is simply just a carved creeper pumpkin, which is that one over there. And now as a jack-o'-lantern version, basically, with either a jack-o'-lantern lime dye or the existing creeper pumpkin and a torch. 
which uh, the other is just a kind of pumpkin and wine die anyways. So, yeah. Uh, next we have the Paper Lantern Ghost, which is just paper, red dye, and raw pork chop. And again, these ones float, and you can also sort of go through them. And then I've also got the uh, Paper Lantern Ghost, which is just... Okay, so the existing for them with a torch or glowstone in the recipe. So it's just a lit version. We've got a Burger Pumpkin, which is a mod suit dyes, seeds, and pumpkin. That thing's a bit more interesting. Got the glow squid, which doesn't have a recipe, but obviously does a lot of the area. The cookie beast pumpkin, which will, uh, sorry, which has carved pumpkin, cookie, and blue dye as its recipe. I think this is based on something from a different mod, per chance, or even what that mod was based on. Um, and then we've got a squid pumpkin, which also doesn't have a recipe. Yeah, looks like so. Um, you've got the Surgery Failed Pumpkin, which is just shears, pumpkin seeds, and cut pumpkin. Uh, going back to ghosts, we've got Paper Pirate Ghost, which is paper, one dye, and black wool. And then we also have the Scribbled Paper one, which is just paper and an ink sack, like so. Uh, going back to pumpkins, we've got All Seeing Pumpkin, which is just blue dye, white dye, and cut pumpkin. And they've clearly seen some things. Um, we've got the floating shopping list, which doesn't have a recipe, but it looks like so, I guess. On my back, in the front. The chicken pumpkin, which is simply just feathers, small pumpkin, and dye. And we've already seen that one. And then we've got the mummy pumpkin, which is just paper and cut pumpkin. So that's everything block-wise I can think of there. Moving on to items, of course, we've got the Steve mask, which is just a thing that apparently exists as a recipe. But uh, when putting it on, it pretty much looks like so. Kind of scary. I mean, always the eye holes kind of give me a bit of a um, bit of an unsure thought process there. It's like it works, but it can be kind of creepy. Um, what else have we got here? We've got, I guess, food. We'll do that first, and then we'll move on to mobs in a moment. Uh, hunger, here we go. Let's go to survival. If it'll let me, of course, because it seems the game wants to be very particular at times. Okay. There we go. So, room peaceful, so that changes things. We're gonna have to change the atmosphere or time of day, unfortunately. If it'll work for me. Um, and also so we don't get attacked. Come on. You can tell it's, it's trying to be very particular for some reason. We're recording this, I don't know why. <laughs> In case the command's really activated, it's just the game's not following up on it. Which is unfortunate. Come on, and the hunger effect's just gonna go at this point before I even get to it. <sighs> I mean, I could get rid of a few other mods, but it is unfortunate. I don't know, can I do it in like another part? I probably might do it in another part, actually. So, stay tuned for part two where I do food and then I'll do mobs even in its own part as well. Thanks so much for watching, though, and goodbye.